Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, K7 Sierra Whiskey. Today I'm out camping in the deserts of Utah and I want to test out something I've been wanting to do for a long time and that's compare two 20 meter verticals, one with some 14 gauge wire and one with some 27 gauge wire, the kind that I take on my soda activations. So what I'm gonna to do today is build two different vertical antennas. I've already got one built. This is one I use for summits on the air. It's a real lightweight 20 meter vertical quarter wave ground plane with four radios. And the second antenna that I'm going to build to compare the two is the same 20 meter vertical with four radios, but this time it's a thicker gauge wire and a taller mast because it's gotta be able to hold the weight of this additional wire. What I'm trying to accomplish in this test today, this comparison, is to find out which one is better if there is a noticeable difference because taking less is actually better for me. I've already put one of the verticals up right here. Here are the details of what I plan to do. I'm using two fiberglass masts. One is the Tenkara skinny lightweight one that I would take normally for my summits on the air or even parks activations. And the second vertical is using the, it's gonna sound funny, it's the Mr. Crappie Slab Daddy 19 foot fiberglass fishing mast. I contacted the owner of the company probably three years ago to try out one of his masts to see if it worked for the activating that I like to do. I haven't used this mast in a long time, primarily because it's a heavier mast. Not that that's a big problem, but this may be an opportunity to bring this thing back to life. So the wire that I'm using for the two antennas, the smaller antenna, that wire is 27 gauge wire. Where I got that is alarm wire. And that comes in like a sheath of three or four uh, conductors in a cable. And the bigger wire that's a little bit heavier is 14 gauge. That's the 14 gauge THN. It's all stranded wire. Because this ground is somewhat sandy, it's still a little bit hard out here in the desert. I'm attaching both of these verticals the same way with one of those orange ground stakes into the ground, securing it with the twist ties. And then the radials I'm using just standard tent stakes, dragging the radials out at an angle, depending on how far away it is from the ground, where they'll reach. For the center insulator on both of these antennas, I'm using the banana clip, the standard banana clips you can get on Amazon. They go into a BNC connector. The big antenna is pretty much flat at the top end of the band, which is what I want. That's where I'm gonna operate from today. And the soda antenna, the soda vertical, is um, not much higher than that. It's about 1.2 to one. And that's gonna be good. I think that's fair enough for this test. What I'm going to use for my, I guess, less than scientific test is just get on the air and try to make contacts. Okay, before we go inside, the antennas are all set up. I move the solar panel into a little bit more of the light and as the sun comes up, it's gonna hit that and give us more juice for the battery. Battery in the back of the camper here is all set up. I can see I got a little bit of voltage coming into the MPPT charge controller. Let's go inside, make some contacts and see if we can tell a difference on the antenna. Okay, we're gonna start out to these guys and there are parks on the air. Let's see if he can get us. Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey. Yeah, Roger, Chris, uh, you were 5757 into Utah, over. Well, good morning, sir. Yes, yes, I've got you 55565 into 0228 USL. Fantastic. Appreciate that, and thanks for activating today. Oh, you're very welcome, sir. Have a great weekend. Uh, Kilo 7, Sierra Whiskey, this is Kilo 1, X-ray, O dot X-ray. for Park Sunwall. Kilo 7, Sierra Whiskey. Kilo 7, Sierra Whiskey. I've got you at 5-6 in the park, Kilo 0 Alright, thank you for that park. You're 5-8, five, 5-8 eight, five, eight here into Utah. Thanks for activating today. Thank you very much for hunting. 73, have a wonderful weekend. You can really hear them way better on the, other, on the bigger antenna. Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey Portable. Was, it, was that the correct call, Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey? Yeah, roger, roger. I'll get you on a lot. You're portable. Is that correct? Yeah, Roger. The name's Kevin, and I'm operating out of my trailer, and I got two different antennas I'm working with here. All right, let me move the beam up there. Uh, 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 that's Kevin. Uh, Kevin, I think this is the first time you checked in with us. Is there any, anything we can do for you? Um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind giving me a signal report on the two different antennas. I'm using one vertical right now, and I can switch over to the other one if you're willing to. And it's just opening up. It's been a rather uh, tough day here today. You're a 5'5", five five and uh, we thank you for being there. Are you running uh, QRP or just running regular power? Yeah, I'm running uh, 50 watts, 50 watts on battery power. 
and I just switched over to my other antenna. Is that any better or worse for you, over? Yes, it just popped up to about a five seven. That, that's correct. All right, fantastic. I'm back to my first antenna. Is that any better? Same power and everything else. Look, the band is uh, up and down of two also, Kevin. But for a moment there, you popped up to about a five seven. So I'm not sure what antenna you're on. I guess it's a bad day to do that kind of test. Well, I appreciate you guys uh, letting me check into your net today. Thank you for that. 7-3 from Utah, K7 Sierra Whiskey. Uh, if you hear someone, Kevin, that you'd like to uh, contact, just say recheck. We'll get you back in. You don't have to stand in line, okay? All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. We do appreciate you being here. That was Kilo 7 Sierra Whiskey, and that's Kevin Portable, Utah. So it looks like today's going to be a really hard day to actually do a test and to get real practical readings. But from a, a receive perspective, the bigger antenna is louder on most occasions than the soda antenna, the smaller antenna. It's a lot of fun building antennas, and I'll make sure I put a link in the description below for all the stuff, all the gear, the parts I used to put these two uh, antennas together. Let me know in the comments down below if there's some part of this test that I forgot to do, or maybe something you would have liked to have seen in maybe a future video that I can do. Well, you know, I have an awful lot of fun building antennas, and I hope you enjoyed this too. Make sure you click that like button down below. Building antennas like this out in the field, or building them at home and taking them out and deploying them, is an is very rewarding. It's super enjoyable. I love doing it and I hope this something like this encourages you to get out and try something simple like that for yourself. It's very easy to build a 20 meter vertical. It's very rewarding. You can reach some far away places and it's just an awful lot of fun if I haven't said that 10 times already. So in the end I don't know if I move one way or the other. Um, I like the bigger antenna. More wire is always better for me but uh, keeping it simple, taking lighter stuff, that's going to be more practical at least for me for camping situations because my family doesn't always tolerate taking a lot of time to get stuff done, set up, and, and do your operating. So the smaller can be better in that case. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you click that like button down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching, 7-3. We'll see you on the next video. Kilo Delta Zero, Quebec, or excuse me, Kilo Delta Zero, Kilo Quebec, Lima. Good morning to you. You're on the 20-meter Salvation Army Saturn deck. Comments this morning.